welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Universal, Disney, and Florida have to offer plus size people. Today we're at Magic Kingdom and we're getting ready to go on one of the most magical rides at Disney, Peter Pan. I'm about to hop in the Fast Pass line and take you through all the details you need to know to feel comfortable riding this ride as a plus size person or somebody with mobility or accessibility concerns. Let's try the ride. Before we get on the ride, let me share a little bit about myself to help you decide if this ride will work for you. I am five feet, four inches tall. I weigh 350 pounds. I wear US women's sizes 30 or a four or five X. Strollers are not allowed in the queue, but there is a stroller parking area. ECVs are not allowed in the line. However, they do provide wheelchairs that you can transfer into to go through the queue. Those wheelchairs are provided free of charge. Let me show you the chairs right now. If you're in an ECV, there is a transfer wheelchair. It looks like it's pretty generously sized. I may sit down in this for you and let you know what it's like. Okay, I just sat in the chair and it is actually quite generously fit. It's a little bit snug on my hips, but it works really well. So they will transfer you from your ECB into one of these wheelchairs so that you can go through the queue. I happen to have a fast pass for this ride today, but uh, the queue for this ride is routinely 65 minutes long or longer. 65 minutes is on a slow day. This is one of those rides that I recommend that you get a fast pass for. However, if you do happen to be here and you want to stand in the line for standby, it is a beautiful queue. Beautifully themed, very interactive, and most of the queue is indoors. So if you want to escape the rain or the heat, it can be a good place to do it, but remember, you will be on your feet. You may have heard that Peter Pan has a turnstile. This ride no longer has a turnstile here at Walt Disney World. When you reach the end of the queue, you'll be standing and waiting to be assigned to a boat. You'll walk around the corner and step onto a moving walkway that is moving at the same rate of speed as the boats you're getting onto. The boats are actually very spacious and have a good deal of leg room. The track for this ride is suspended above your head. The boats themselves will move back and forth just a tiny bit. Not enough for anybody to be bothered, even if you have motion sickness. You can fit two adults and a child on this ride. The lap bar will come down only as far as the largest person in your party, but as long as everyone is seated, you'll be fine. Little ones should be sat in the middle. There is a small step up into the boat. you are suspended in the air it's not terribly high but the perspective of all of the animatronics and decorations on this ride makes you feel like you're much higher but you're quite safe
thrilling ride and a very magical ride. Well, it's a very busy and noisy day in the parks today, so I decided to step away over into a quiet area to tell you a little bit more about the Peter Pan ride. Most of the rides at Disney that have moving walkways will stop or slow the walkway for you if you have trouble accessing it. However, Peter Pan is an older ride and they are unable to do that so they will not stop the moving walkway so that you can board with a little more ease. However, it is good to note that the walkway moves at the same speed that the boat is moving. Most people with a reasonable level of balance are able to walk on that moving walkway and step into the boat with ease. The opening to the boat is really wide and easy to walk into. There's lots of leg room on the boats. Now there is no boat that's larger than another boat. They're all the same size. The bench can accommodate two plus size people and a small child. You can seat up to three people on the ride at a time. Regardless of your size, they won't let you have more than three people on the ride at a time. The lap bar will come down only as far as the largest person will let it, but it's a very generous lap bar. And as long as everyone remains seated throughout the ride, they will be safe. It's a very slow moving, relaxing, charming ride. However, the ride is very short. It's about two minutes long. It's very magical. In fact, I think it's the most magical ride in all of the parks. It's one of the original rides in the parks. It's a classic. If you've never been on it, I highly recommend that you try it at least once. Thank you so much for joining me on Peter Pan today. I hope that you found the ride as delightful as I do. And remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.